In Moscow today, the presidents of Russia and France agreed to coordinate their airstrikes against ISIS in Syria. Francois Hollande has been trying to form a broad coalition against the terror group since it attacked Paris two weeks ago. Those attacks were planned in Belgium, and tonight the search for suspects continues. Deborah Pata is in Brussels. For the fifth day, police raided neighborhoods around the capital, part of the ongoing investigation into the Paris attacks, which killed 130. And tonight, one person was arrested in the raids. The terror threat in Brussels has now been reduced to level three, which means an attack is still possible, but no longer imminent. Brussels has been on virtual lockdown for the past week. Schools were closed, so were subways and some stores. Public gatherings were banned. Andre Jakobs is the former head of the government's intelligence unit that tracked Islamic extremists. He told us the government may have overreacted initially or that the police raids have turned up new details. Information from the raids may have shown that the terrorists have left the country, he said, or that they don't have weapons. Police are still hunting for two Paris suspects, Salah Abdeslam and Mohamed Abrini. They both lived in the Brussels neighborhood of Molenbeek, which has gained a reputation for being a jihadi hotbed. A month before the attacks, Molenbeek mayor Francois Siepmans received a list of 80 Islamic militants from Belgian intelligence. Abdeslam was on the list, so was the suspected ringleader Abdel Hamid Abaoud. But Siepman says it was not her job to track down terrorists. It is up to the federal police, she said, to carry out actions like identification, arrest and interrogation. And she claimed police had received the same information. Two weeks on and Belgian police are still no closer to finding Salah Abdel Salam. The country's justice minister says he must have a large terror cell assisting him because it would be impossible for him to hide for this long on his own. And Deborah, what came out of the meeting between France and Russia today? The two leaders agreed to increase the exchange of intelligence to assist the U.S.-led coalition in intensifying airstrikes against ISIS and that other rebel groups would not be targeted. Up until now, Russia has been attacking groups fighting against the Assad regime in Syria. So, Elaine, it's going to be interesting to see exactly how that agreement will be implemented. Deborah Pata in Brussels for us tonight. Deborah, thank you.